God, dog, this is a big bottle of liquor. Well, as you saw, I'm going to review one of the biggest bottles of liquor in the history of alcohol consumption. I'm going to drink this whole bottle in this one video. I'm going to get so plastered that my liver is going to fall out my ass and run away. Here's the bottle. I got I to gotta use both hands to pick it up. It's, it's so... <clears throat> okay, there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Jim Bean Ghost or Jacob's Ghost White Whiskey. And yeah. It's a sample, basically. I'm going to sample this. It's a clear distilled and I'm, I haven't read any reviews or I haven't looked up any research on it. But I know it's something new that I'm going to try. It's really a, it's a whiskey, uh, and it's uh, clear. I don't even really want to see too many clear whiskeys, so. so. And it was some nice. Probably can go up the whole bottle. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drink it like this. Then I'm going to put it over the ice, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Orsi Gula, which is, fails to embarrass in the size. But you guys literally, for those who really thought that I was going to drink a whole bottle that big, come on. Special effects were amazing in this video. Also. But yeah, yeah, first we're going to pop it off, get a little smell, if you will. It smells something in there. It does have a whiskey smell. It's going to give it a taste. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Smooth. It's got some fire to it for a little shot, and I barely even I just just hit it to myself. Ooh, ooh, wee. I'm just going to put this, this little thing in there. Cause I'm going to knock it down. Just give it away. Just Try it on ice. <sighs> That's some strong shit. Let's try some coke in it. Oh, well, I've heard that coke or either Sprite are pretty good for your whiskeys. If you want to kind of lighten it down a little bit. Most people like drinking their whiskeys just by themselves. This is the holiday season. Yeah, yeah, that's a good bite there. The Coke kind of balances it off just a little bit. Put the rest of it. I'm sure this, uh, this this has a really kick. See the elk. It says it's aged one year minimum in new oak barrels. So. 40% out by volume. Hmm. You know, some of you guys probably get some of these little bottles. This was like 125. You get these little bottles mostly out of curiosity to see how something would taste. Because, of course, if I would have bought a whole bottle of this and, and drunk it and I felt it was like a lot like that, then it would have been wasted money. But 120, 125. Doing those reviews on budget, huh, Jackie? But yeah, let me see. With that RC Cola in there, great. The whiskey has a real strong whiskey taste to it. Very, very, very. You can taste a little sweetness in it. And this is just the, the whiskey by itself. You can taste the sweetness. You can taste that it has a whole lot of fire going toward it. It does have a real good a distinctive whiskey taste. Um, if you're a avid whiskey drinker, I should just give it a try. I really do feel that um, I've had Jim Bean. Jim Bean just by itself is pretty good anyway, but 
this right here gives it's kind of kicked up a notch. But yeah, this is Jim Bean. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus, motherfucker. If I go focus, focus. Jim Bean's Jacob's Ghost. White whiskey. But yeah, I hope I didn't fool you guys. Let's do Jelly 82. Sign it all.